Hi there, you are watching Alphabets and in this video we will demonstrate how to update Asus Zenfone 2 to Android Marshmallow. Well this procedure implies to all of the Asus device. If you want to update to the latest Android version, you can follow these steps. Now after major flagships, Asus also seems interested in providing latest Android firmware updates on its Zenfone series. In this video we have demonstrated how to update Asus Zenfone 2 to Android Marshmallow. So let's begin. Sticking on to the safe aside, first of all back up all of your data right from contacts, call logs, your applications, each and everything onto your PC to make sure you don't lose any data. Ok so we here have demonstrated how to back up your data using Wondershare Mobile Go. So this is a freeware, free software, you can install it from the links in the video description and you can easily back up your data. So connect your mobile to PC through data cable and on the left hand column you have variety of tab. Click on toolkit here and click on one click backup. Then select the content which you want to backup. Here I have only selected call logs, messages and contacts and then click on backup. So backup would be completed successfully and it would open the location where your files have been backed up. Now make sure that you have the latest Android software update on your device. After backing up your data, hard reset your device. So go to settings, scroll down and here you get an option backup and reset. Click on it and tap on this last option factor data reset. Confirm your pattern or pin and you are all set to erase your device. Ok so the erasing of data would take a bit of time here so patiently perform the rest of the steps. Now charge your device enough to install the latest firmware or either you can just plug in your charger while updating your phone. Now comes the part of downloading the Marshmallow firmware. So first of all go to asus.com slash support. Now search for your device name or the Asus model which you have. Then select drivers and tools. After selecting drivers and tools, select OS Android. Tap on firmware option. Find the latest suitable ROM to which you want to update along with the suitable SQ. SQ here stands for stock keeping unit and it differs from region to region. So depending on the country to which you belong to select the suitable one then click on global to start downloading the ROM. We currently are performing these steps for Asus Zenfone 2 so Asus Zenfone 2 users can directly download the firmware from the links in the video description. Now comes the installation part. So copy the ROM into the root directory of your device. Make sure you don't move it into any of the folder and you paste it directly into the root directory. Do not extract the zip file. You can either copy it through PC by downloading it on PC and copying it to device or by directly downloading it onto your device. Ok so after copying the ROM, unplug the data cable in case you have transferred it from PC. Ok so after moving the ROM file you will get a notification that is system update file detected. Install it by pressing ok and if you don't get any kind of notification after moving the zip file 
try restarting your phone or try renaming the zip file and still if you don't get the notification then try moving the zip file through PC and make sure that the entire zip file gets moved so this is how you'll get a notification regarding the update install by pressing ok make sure that you have enough charge on your device now after the installation gets finished you will be on the latest android version that is android m for asus infant 2 so let me just show you that we have updated to the latest android version so in this manner you can update any of your asus device to the latest available android version this was the manually updating method the official software update comes a bit later so if you are keen and uh, want to install the android update early you can perform these steps and update to the latest android version one important point here is that after updating your phone to the latest android version make sure you factory reset your device once again because this is a manual update and you don't want to soft break your device so that's it for this video if you like the video give us a thumbs up subscribe to my channel for more such videos and thanks for watching